These intense storms touch just about all of southeast Michigan. Here's a look at some of the damage from Ann Arbor, Southfield, Redford, and Gross Point that our crews gather. And there's everything from down lines to fallen trees to roofs ripped off of buildings. Yeah, and you've been sending us your weather pictures and video, and we appreciate it. We're showing it. This is Romulus, where you can see large trees that are covering the road there right in the middle of the street and the, some of these are huge. Yeah, and a similar scene playing out in Lather Village where you can see limbs uh, snapped in half laying in the front yard of homes there and in some cases on to homes. And take a look at this incredible photo. Lightning striking a tree, mm. setting it on fire. This happened during the storm right there on the Pinestead Drive in Commerce Township. Yeah, just splitting it in half. And I love that, the, you know, he took that yes. uh, doorbell video camera mm. and <laughs> got the moment the lightning struck it. It's wild. Now, one area that's been hit particularly hard is gross, the Gross Point community. Yeah, from huge trees onto the roads to small limbs scattered across lawns. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell has been surveying the damage overnight and joins us live now from Gross Point Farms. Peter, what have you been able to find? Well, you know, I live a block away from where we are at right now here in Gross Point Farms. And when I left my house yesterday afternoon, I couldn't believe my eyes. I've grew up here. I've, you know, been a part of the community for a long, long time. I've never seen anything like this. We are on Vendome Road right now in Gross Point Farms. You can take a look at this tree right here. This came basically just right up out of the ground, toppling into this house right here. There's still some branches up on the roof. This roof and the gutters were just what were placed and refinished yesterday morning. Imagine that investing into a new roof and a new gutter system. Now they have to go back and do it all over again. And then right over here as well, you can see well, another tree into a house as well. I mean, the winds were so powerful, it literally just uprooted these trees and they came toppling it down. And this is what it looks like throughout Gross Point Farms, except down below uh, towards Mack Avenue. But I want to show you the root system of this tree. I am six foot five. This root system is much taller than me. I mean, you could just take a look right here. I mean, these winds were just that powerful, just completely just snapping these 100 plus year old elm trees and oak trees and just taking them down to the ground. We found a local arborist last night who was working into the early morning hours. This is what he had to say. It's going to be months before they can get back to normal. Uh, we're just here trying to help these people out and trying to get it back to normal where they can get the power back on. Uh, I mean, not having any cell coverage. And you and you can take a look right down here too. I mean, there's still, I mean, just debris scattered throughout some of these streets in Gross Point Farms. And you might see some street lights off in the distance. Well, that's because some of Gross Point Farms still has power. Mainly uh, the most damage occurred between Charlevoix uh, and uh, Kirby Road all the way up to, well, Lakeshore Road. But again, I mean, there's a lot of people here without power. One house does have a generator. That's why they do have some front lights. But again, it's still unknown when the power will be restored here in Gross Point Farms. And if you do see a downed wire, I saw a lot of people walking out and about yesterday, not really, they were kind of in a lackadaisical mood, uh, mood and just kind of in awe with all the damage, not paying attention to where they were walking. Definitely want to pay attention and stay away uh, from down power lines 25 plus feet away. Reporting at Gross Point Farms, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yes.